I have a question. Um, as a mom with two high school kids, I'm interested to know, do you have any plan for ensuring safety at a school against the gun violence, especially preventive measures? not just how to deal with the emergency as it arises. Yeah, we've been looking into that and really, you know, having seen this latest crisis, we've been talking about what does it mean to go back to personal responsibility and making sure that the school is holding people accountable to that personal responsibility. And I'm talking about parents because in, in most, almost all of these cases, we see what we saw most recently in Oxford, where there was a warning sign and we've become really lax about allowing parents to bend the rules on those contracts they're signing. Our schools have become so lax on allowing this, allowing parents to break the contract and then ex extend the rules or change the wording or allowing them to have a child that is in desperate need of help to go back into a classroom and then tragedy happens. So we need to be seeing this ahead of time and we need to have training. What instead of doing all this critical race training, how about we have training on spotting an emergency before it happens because there are warning signs and then getting tough in the administration and saying these students that have exhibited these warning signs, they need to be taken out of the, the school and the school needs to be protected from them. And, and what their parents need to do is make a decision on what they're going to do for their mental health, but we're not putting other students at risk because there's a child that has exhibited warning signs. 